Hey guys, welcome to a new video of Storytime with Matthew and Gordon, and today we have a new book for you, titled Zinnia's Flower Garden, written by Monica Wellington. Are you guys ready to begin? Let's get started. Spring has arrived. Zinnia is getting her garden ready for planting. She digs up the soil and turns it over with her shovel. She takes out stones and rakes the dirt smooth. The warm sun feels good as she works. Zinnia carefully plants many kinds of flower seeds in rows. She covers the seeds with dirt and pats it all down very gently. She sprinkles the ground with water. Zinnia waits for the seeds to sprout. The seeds need the sun to shine, the rain to fall, and many days to pass. It's hard to wait so long for her seeds to grow. Every day, Zinnia checks her garden to see if anything has happened. Look! The first seed is poking its way through the dirt! Now Zinnia's garden is full of green sprouts growing towards the sun. Little stems grow taller, little leaves get bigger, and little roots burrow deeper into the earth. Zinnia takes care of her garden every day. When the sun is hot and the soil is dry, she waters her thirsty plants. She pulls up pesky weeds to try to crowd out her plants. She inspects them for greedy bugs. She measures how tall her strong and healthy plants are growing. Every day they get bigger and bigger. First thing in the morning, Zania runs out to check her garden. She is excited to see little buds growing on many of her plants. And then at last she finds what she had been waiting for, the first flower. One bud has bloomed, how beautiful and what a sweet smell. There are many more buds that will open soon. The garden grows and grows with blossoming flowers. Zinnia paints, reeds, and picnics among them. Bees buzz. Zinnia's garden is her favorite place to be on these warm summer days. Her flowers are abundant, and Zinnia cuts some to arrange into bouquets. The fragrant scents of the flowers swirl around her in a warm breeze. One hot summer day, Zinnia has a lemonade stand and puts up a sign. Pick your own flowers. Customers come and gather bunches of flowers and drop money in her jar. In the autumn, as it gets colder, Zania picks the last flowers from her garden. She finds ripe seeds that have formed. They are ready to be collected. She will save them to plant next year. The winter days are short. The sun is dim and the ground is covered with snow, but Zania is already planning next year's garden. When the spring comes, she'll be ready to grow her very own flowers again. Thank you for reading with us. We hope you enjoyed this video. I know I did. And if you like the book, please like and subscribe down below and we'll be sure to post more. And remember, anytime is story time with Matthew and Gordon.